So now I will be telling on how to solve a quadratic equation using two methods. The first one is completing the square method and the second one is formula method. Here is the given equation. So we are going to solve it using the completing the square method. In this method, the first thing you need to do is move the constant term to the right hand side. Add the term coefficient of x over 2 square to the both side of the equation. It can also be classified as b over 2 square. So from here, we will get in this form, it will be easier for us to solve it. So here we got 11 we can factorize this into so now we move the square to the right hand side with the plus minus symbol it means we must separate it into two calculation the first one is the positive the second the second one is the negative. And now we get the answer. So we have seen the completing the square method just One is formula method, which they use the formula of. So this is the equation given. By comparing this equation with the general form, we know that A equals to 1, B equals to 4, C equals to negative 7. So now, what we need to do is... Substitute the value into the formula. Now, in this state, we must separate the calculation into the positive and negative. After pressing the calculator, we will get this answer. So we just learned how to solve from a quadratic equation, we search for the value of x. Now we are going to form a quadratic equation using the given roots, which means from the roots which are x, we are going to form a quadratic equation. I am going to explain the concept of forming a quadratic equation. So here is the general form which can also be written as this if alpha and beta if alpha and beta is the roots which means x equals to alpha x equals to beta we can assume that 
x minus alpha x minus beta equals to 0. So, if we expand it, we will get So from here, comparing this one with this one, we can tell that while So, based on the information we got, we can tell the quadratic equation is built based on this equation. So, that A plus B is the sum of root, while... C is the product of roots. So we can see here the relationship between the roots and the equation so that we can form an equation. Let's see if we are given the value of the roots. For example, x equals to negative 3, x equals to 5. So, we can choose either one to be alpha and beta. So now, to form the equation, we must know the sum of roots and the product of roots. So now, as we got the roots, we so we can find the sum of roots, which is alpha plus beta negative 3 plus 5 equals to 2 and the product of roots alpha beta equals to negative 3 So from the value that we got, we can form a quadratic equation. If x squared minus s o r x plus p o r equals to zero, then we can substitute the value. So here it is, we have already formed a quality equation. This is the first example, but what if we are given an equation to form other equation which the roots is? So this is the actual equation from this from this 
we can find the sum of roots and the product of roots. So, S O R equals to alpha plus beta equals to B over A. Negative B over A. Which means negative 1 over 2. And for POR, where alpha beta equals to C over A, which is 4 over 2. Now we got 2. So now we got the SOR and POR. So the other equations root is 2 alpha 2 beta, which means the sum of roots of the equation is plus 2 beta. So we only have the value of a plus b, not 2a plus 2b. So here we can factorize it. So now, substitute the value. And now we got the sum of root of the equation the next one we need to find is product of roots which is alpha beta here we have 2a 2 alpha 2 beta we don't and we got for alpha beta we have the value of alpha beta so we can just substitute it and now we have already got the POR and SOR so we can form a quadratic equation using this value if x square minus SOR x plus P O R equals to zero, then X minus negative two X plus eight equals to zero. So now so now this is the answer. Hello.